And now, get ready for the top diesel performance podcast in the industry, brought to you by Parley'sDieselPerformance.com, covering what's new in the world of black smoke and burning rubber. If it's diesel performance you're after, you've come to the right place. Today we're uh, talking with Matt Snow of Snow Performance. Matt, thanks for being on the call with us this morning. Yes, thank you, Nathan. Glad to be here. All right, great. What we wanted to do is just give people a, a chance to get a feel for what Snow Performance is all about, what you guys do, and what you guys have to offer to the diesel performance community. Uh, if you can, just give us an idea of what your company does and, and how you got started. Well, we uh, we do nothing but water methanol injection. Uh, we focused on diesels, and so we're heavy into uh, both the high-performance diesel market and also the towing uh, and fuel economy uh, crowd with diesel. So we've, we've branched out quite a bit, but we, we started in 2002, and we were the first ones into the diesel uh, market with, with this technology, and uh, we've kind of championed it along the ways to show people the benefits of, of injecting uh, water methanol in, in a diesel and, and uh, just what it does in terms of lowering EGTs when you're towing so you can keep your foot into it and not, not hurt your engine and uh, uh, fuel economy. You know, the fuel economy benefits are big and that's become a huge button. And then, uh, of course, the power. I mean, we're, you know, you across the board, you have 70 to 100 horsepower, horsepower gain with the product. Excellent. So just to, to give an idea to people who are hearing of water methanol injection for the first time, what exactly is, quote-unquote, water methanol, and how, where is it injected in the engine, etc.? Sure. Yeah, we, uh, we've gone, the last five years, or six years, have been spent educating people on why you would do such a silly thing as inject <laughs> your, into your intake track before your engine, and, uh, and especially, you know, water and water and methanol. But it's, it's uh, relatively... Uh, old technology that was developed uh, during World War II for not just the fighter planes that were boosted, but also some of the diesels. And, um, you know, they, the first people that picked it up in the diesel uh, groups were the, were the pullers, the tractor pullers and the truck pullers, because of the huge, huge uh, boost levels attained through compounding turbos and, uh, you know, the need to get the charge temps down uh, so that you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't uh, melt uh, melt the engine or stick a ring land or wreck a turbo and so forth and these things that happen when EGTs get too high. So uh, we took it and we put smart boxes to it where we've got these controllers that read things on the engine and inject the right amounts as you're driving for smooth power. We put uh, high powered pumps to it for high pressure and put all the neat parts together so they were robust and. That's been what we've done for the market. Okay, great. And just just to get an idea, what at what point would you recommend usually getting into water methanol? Is that something that a, a, a non modified or a lightly modified modern diesel truck would would advantage? You know, it'd be advantageous for those. Or do you say this is for you know highly modified? You mentioned uh, compound turbos, etc. Do people have to have that? Uh, to get into the water methanol injection, or would you say it's, it's a good option for somebody who might have an intake, exhaust, and chip, or something like that, and just looking for extra power that way, too? Yeah, I think that what we see is people generally, you know, the, the diesel crowd, no matter if they're towing or if they use their truck for just recreation or daily driving or, or uh, really hot rod the truck for max horsepower, they typically, a guy will go out in his first buy will be a chip or a reprogrammer and, and that's a smart buy because you know for for uh, four or five hundred dollars you know on up you get some good bang for the buck with that now so that's usually the first thing and then most people will go with an inexpensive intake and they'll throw the cold air intake on and then uh, I think from our standpoint the next step would be one of our kits because for the uh, you know for the five hundred to seven hundred dollars you spend on our kit you're going to get 70 horsepower. Uh, most people now are going for the exhaust system, but you're not going to get 70 to 100 horsepower with an exhaust. You're not you're not going to get one to three miles a gallon with an exhaust. And you know we we like to be positioned third, uh, and we think that more and more people are 
are doing that. They're buying our product and they're accepting it as one of the first mods they do, not down the road, uh, you know, uh, after the exhaust and, and things. Yeah, definitely. But, but in terms of the application, uh, more and more we see people buying our kit for towing and fuel economy. Uh, it's getting out there that, you know, with the price of diesel right now, that, you know, you get, you get two more miles per gallon with something and you're saving $12 a tank of diesel. And that's what it ends up being when you, when you take the diesel savings and then the cost of your water methanol, you're still saving $12 a 30 gallon tank of diesel with our product. And uh, that's significant. I mean, you, you add that up and the product pays for itself pretty quick. Yeah, definitely. So as far as water methanol, where, where do people go about getting it? I've heard it's anything from, you know, windshield, windshield washer fluid to custom mixes. What do you usually recommend running in your system? Well, you're always going to get more power and you're going to get more EGT cooling with, with some methanol in the mix. The, the, the water-only crowd is going to get benefit, but, you know, you're looking at probably 30 horsepower. Uh, you're looking at probably EGT reductions uh, in the 100 degree F range uh, or less. But, you know, the, the limiting factor with water is that it quenches combustion pretty readily so that, you know, you're, you're restricted at how much you can inject. Uh, if you put some methanol in the mix and be like 50 50, um, you know, you're going to get 250 degree drops in EGTs when you're towing, and that's when you're going to get the 70 horsepower. And, that's when you're going to get the, the big fuel economy gains is with that 50-50 mix. But it's easy to get. I mean, we sell it. You can buy it um, in windshield washer fluid. You know, a lot of people are buying Walmart uh, minus 20 winter blend windshield washer fluid, and, you know, that's uh, about 30% methanol, and then they'll buy a, a bottle of heat gas line antifreeze, and that's straight methanol, and they'll just dump that in, and then you've got your 50%.